we got to give credit where credit's due. The Heat were the better team this series. And I do think that they're not getting the respect that they deserve going against this Lakers team. I think it's going to be a series, in my opinion. I don't know about you. You might think it's a sweep. They beat they beat the Bucks and they beat us. So, you know, credit where it's due. I think the the Lakers sweep them. Um I don't really? like people are calling them like the 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 like the dynasty buster or like the the super team buster, like their their zone defense and all these shooters and stuff, but um I think LeBron James won a championship two nights ago. Um I think maybe he actually won it. Well, I think that Frank Vogel, his best move as a coach, has been telling the league that LeBron isn't getting foul calls because that kind of got them to a win in game uh, game four. Yeah, and... there was a lot of noise made about that. But coaches do that all the time, whether it's a press conference or something. I know they send a tape, which is pretty blatant. But I think that we built our team to be a team like the Lakers, where like we have all these shooters and stuff, and the Heat are similar to that. But the Lakers are built to be the team like the Heat, where okay you've got bam okay well for like we could just throw lebron out there and lebron is already better than bam we've also got anthony davis who's way better and then if we really feel like it we have dwight howard or javel mcgee like the whole inside presence that the heat had the huge advantage over us gone they're gonna have to outshoot the lakers which i'm sure they'll do but i just think that lebron after all these years of the freaking spurs and the warriors and now we have anthony davis and he's playing the jimmy butler led miami heat if LeBron fumbles this, like it's over for him, and he knows that, and he's not going to fumble it. I don't think. I don't think. I think the Lakers going to win this series, obviously. But I don't know. I, this this Heat team reminds me a lot of old Spurs teams. The way that they move the ball, the way that they're not going to beat you by me by being more talented. Like they know damn well that. I, I was talking to my friend about this the other day. The Celtics were the most talented team in the East. There wasn't any debating that. Like on paper. It's shameful that we lost to this Heat team. It, it's yeah. really shameful. But this Heat team doesn't care about... They, they're not going into the series of the Lakers and saying, like, we're going to out-talent them because we have better shot makers, we have better whatever. No. They, they bought, they're they just so bought into... And a team that buys into a system is dangerous, whether it be the Mavs, whether it be the Spurs, teams that trust each other, that commit to the system. It's not... You might be able to win this series, but you're not going to... It's really hard to sweep a team like that that is so consistent in what they do. You know I am still bitter because the wound is still very fresh, but the Heat are, like... It's a pleasure to watch the Heat because you're right. Like, at, like you have, like, a team of guys, like the Celtics when they, a couple years ago, when you have, like, Terry and Smart and, like, rookie Tatum, and they're just like, we're going to give it everything we have. Like, we believe we can beat all these teams. We're the underdog. The Heat... Like guys, one through eight are like, I'm gonna die for the ball. Like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play hard. And I think it's the bubble setting that they're thriving in, where like no fans. Like we're just ten guys on a court, like without all the outside factors. Like we can just like play a zone, like do like pull these tricks, and like we can beat teams. And I like at the beginning of the bubble was like, all right, like if the if like the Heat go to the finals, then maybe the bubble has an effect. Um, and they beat my team, so I can't like take it away from them. But I think that um, I think that them having a neutral court and getting to getting to just play basketball is is serving them well. No fans I think, to rally. I think their so team. too. I, but I think their home court was was definitely. Um, oh yeah, they, they were good at home, and I, I think like they were bad on the road. I just think that it's more about them. It it kind of reminds me of Leo and Brad Pitt and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Who's the who's the who's the main guy? Neither of them care. They they play they played off each other. They don't care who's the star of the movie of this three hour uh, movie. Like like they just played off each other, and that would that's why the movie was good. Was that no one was stepping on each other's toes. Nobody was like, no, I'm the star. I need to have the bigger what is. It was just it flowed. It flowed, and that's why the friendship in that movie felt so natural. And that's when it, when I watched the Heat play, it just like that's what I kind of see when I watch the Celtics play. It's just like. Who's fighting to to have the spot? Like, who wants to show up in that big moment the most? It is is more what I'm seeing. It's like an opera. It's like it's like someone fighting for like the spotlight. They want to have their solo. And it, 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 the hard truth of it is that once you have too many of these guys, that starts to make less and less sense. Like Here's you saw with the Warriors. Imagine the Warriors with with KD just that's what I was about the ball to bring for up. twenty seconds. Like, well, that's the, like the, yeah, exactly. The Warriors played an offense where they had the three guys, but they like could share the ball like fluidly, and they were all getting the shots. 
And the Celtics need to run an offense like that, except that Steph, KD, and Clay don't miss from three. And we miss from three a lot. <laughs> if we run the Warriors offense and it's just like Kemba and like Tatum, like they miss so many threes. And so we we really need to get to the basket, but like we're not playing like Warriors basketball, like which I think we need to a little, where our guys are just going ISO and like there's a version of our team where all of those guys get all of their shots and play perfectly. And that version of the team is not when they just get like 15 seconds to each take turns. Like Jalen Brown shot over 50% in most of these games. But yeah. he's just, he's only getting the ball like for a couple seconds, like when it's his turn. And the rest of the time it's Kemba or Tatum just like, what can I do here? Let me get hot. And if one of them yeah. gets hot, we win the game. But if one of them doesn't get hot, then no one else has a chance to. And that's a play. That's a playoff atmosphere. It's harder to get hot, and that's why you know it's. I feel bad for Jalen Brown. He got he got little broed. He got little broed this series. He, they definitely push him to the side, even though he was probably the most consistent guy. Might might, might I like? Is it is it bad to say that? Because I know Tatum. It's so funny how Tatum could have thirty points, and you're just like, I don't think he played that well. Like, especially down Tatum the stretch. Didn't, Tatum didn't take the next step. Unfortunately, I like, don't he, think he, he did. I don't he think took he the did. next step during the regular season and did not like become like like if he made to the, if he brought us to the finals he'd be like a top ten player. Yeah, but he didn't. So, but finals. Let's let's focus on what we think this is going to be. Uh, I yeah, th- yeah, I think yeah. I think Jimmy Butler. I think Jimmy Butler is is a good enough defender to slow down LeBron. And the thing about this Lakers team, I don't think I think people forget because AD is so good, but the Lakers don't win games because of AD. Like 80, even if 80 scores 45 points, it's just like, you saw that with the Pelicans. If, if 80 goes off, 80 goes off and so be it. But the, the, what, what puts you over that edge, especially in the playoffs, especially in the finals, is, is somebody who establishes the pace of the game for almost like both teams. Like he is the sale end all of how this game will be played. And that is LeBron. Like, and, and I think that if you can stop him, if you can slow him down and, and uh, you know, we saw that a little bit in the early games with the Nuggets with Jeremy Grant or call it uh, Daniel House before he decided to have a good time. Like, it, it really affects the Lakers when LeBron isn't establishing, like, the, the whole pace and whatnot. I don't know if you agree, but I think that if, if you slow him down, I think, I think you have a chance to edge out a couple of games. I think that... Honestly, like LeBron is LeBron, but if the Lakers didn't have Rondo, I'd be more down for this Heat team. But the Heat were like bigger than the Celtics. Like the Celtics played small to match the Heat, but the Heat just like they had got Iguodala and Crowder and like Goron is taller than Smart and Kemba and they just have like long guys. And so the Celtics, like they played small and now Kemba and Jalen are getting pushed around. And I think the Lakers are a much bigger team. I think that Rondo is going to like play good defense on Drogic and Danny Green is going to play good defense on Hero or whoever. Like I think that they can close out shooters and play like as as smart as much hustle because the Lakers are a team. Like they love each other. They get hyped for each other. They're like a team. Like you, Javale. No, they are a team. Javale at the beginning of that Nuggets game was like diving on the floor. Like he was like screaming at the opening tip. Like. He played like five minutes, but Javale's out there screaming on the floor. They're 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 in it. No, I, I just think that like you're right. They're so they are they are bought into what they do. They they know that LeBron AD are the guys, and the role players are completely okay with it. And you could you could argue that that's because the lackability and like like uh, like is Caruso going to say no? Give me give me my fair shots. Like no, but th- that's the thing is that I think they understand that AD is their physical presence is their primary scorer. LeBron is controlling this team, whether you like him or not. LeBron is is the friend that makes the plans. You even if you don't like him, even if like he's annoying or like he complains too much, he makes everything happen. So you have to you have to respect that. You have to keep that around and and understand that that's how this whole entire thing is happening. It's it's rare that. Um, players get that respect and obviously LeBron is, is is in his own category so I think he gets that respect as much as he should but just that alone I think it's is their biggest strength but also it could be their biggest weakness with somebody like like I'm envisioning like Bam and Jimmy Butler taking turns guarding LeBron and that being not the easiest thing for LeBron to to get get around and especially when they start running zone like and you got to move the ball and trust each other if, if you're relying on two guys, it, it, that's the zone. 
the zone re- makes you rely on everybody. So we'll see what happens. When, when I think with an inside that. presence, the zone is going to not work as well. I think that when you run a zone and like the guy down low comes to help the guy driving in and then the guy can just dish to Anthony yeah. Davis instead of Grant Williams, he's going to finish. So I think the if zone's going to fall ball. apart. Yeah. If you, like, we'll I see. think that you have got Rondo and LeBron are going to move like they're going to... LeBron and Rondo can beat a zone. The Celtics couldn't, but LeBron and Rondo can definitely beat a zone defense. LeBron will not fall to the zone. That's my one oh guarantee my for this finals. Okay. The Warriors, the Spurs, not a zone defense. All right, final final thought on basketball. Uh, you replace Kemba with Rondo. Do we do we win against the Heat? No. No. Not good enough yeah, shooter. Yeah. yeah, okay. I can tell when you're lying. 